Hey, what's going on everyone? I am Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC and I have the Asterisk Carbon Cell 1 and the Mobius X8. Today we're going to compare these side by side and help you decide which one might be best for you. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we have a good versus. I have two very popular knee braces on the table. You have the Carbon Cell one from Asterisk, and you have the X8 from Mobius. So today I want to put these side by side. We're going to compare all the different features about these. We'll talk about the construction, the weight, the fit, the straps, the knee cup design. Try and give you as much good information as possible to help you decide which one of these might be best for you if you are knee brace shopping. I've ridden in both of these. So as we go through and talk about them, I'll give you some of my personal feedback as well. What I like, what I don't like about both these braces you know, just to kind of help you decide which one you feel might be best. Like I said, these are both very popular knee braces. Don't take my word for it. Go read writer reviews. You're going to see there's a lot of positive talk about both of these. As for the Carbon Cell 1, I know riders like Christian Craig, Tim Geiser, I've seen Ken Roxon wearing this knee brace. There's a lot of top riders that really like this knee brace. Same goes for the Mobius. With the Mobius, you've got the Lawrence brothers. Ryan Villopoto wears the, the Mobius X8. I know Ken Roxon actually wore these for a little while too. So both solid knee braces. And we're going to go through and talk about each. I do want to point out with any knee brace, look, I know these are an investment and there's a lot of riders, a lot of riders that kind of wait to pull the trigger and go out and buy a set. Unfortunately, a lot of riders wait till after they've had an injury to their knee, which can be devastating. I've had knee injuries. Nobody wants to go through that. So in my opinion, it's worth the investment. I'm a knee brace guy. So I would say be proactive, pay for a set of knee braces now and don't regret it down the road if you do have a bad knee injury. So just be proactive. That's my best advice. But with any knee brace, it is very important to use the sizing guides on the product pages because every knee brace, you know, different companies have you measure a little bit differently, which you're about to see with these two. So use that. As far as the sizing goes with both of these knee braces, I've ridden them both. They're both comfortable knee braces. And they offer a lot of sizes, which is nice. We offer four sizes in the Carbon Cell 1, and we actually have five sizes that we offer in the X8. So one additional size with the X8. And as far as pricing goes with both of these, that's another thing that you'd want to consider. With the X8, you're going to be around 600 bucks. So it is one of the more affordable premium knee braces that we offer. And then with the Carbon Cell 1, you're about 760 ish So you're about $160 more for the Carbon Cell 1. And I will explain why these are quite a bit more expensive here in just a minute. But remember, with the sizing on both of these, it's very important because with the Carbon Cell 1, they have you measure around your knee. With the Mobius, they actually have you measure around your thigh about six inches above the knee. So make sure to use those sizing guides. We do have a fit guarantee, no matter what knee brace you buy. If you don't like how they fit, if you want to exchange it for a different size or a different brace, you can send them back in brand new unused condition and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange, so take advantage of that. But one difference I do want to point out about the fit as far as the padding goes is that with the X8, what I do like about this, again, you got five sizes, is they actually include multiple sets of padding that are different thicknesses. So when you get these, if you think, you know what, I want the pad right here around the knee to be a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner, you have different options. Same goes for the pad that you're going to have on the tendon back plate. So they allow you really just to kind of fine tune the fit of this knee brace. With the Carbon Cell 1, you're not going to have any additional padding that will come included. You can't change the size or the inner size of the knee area as well. That's why it's very important to use that sizing guide and make sure you're doing it correctly. I wear size medium in the Carbon Cell 1 and for me when I got these out of the box they fit excellent. They fit snug around my knee. I had no issues with the fit whatsoever. So both are very comfortable knee braces. As far as the weight goes, that is one noticeable difference because when we talk about construction, with the X8, you're a nylon construction, and so a size medium comes in at one pound, about nine ounces. And with the Carbon Cell 1, you're about one pound, two ounces in a size medium. So about a seven ounce difference, and you will notice that if you had these two side by side picking them up, you'll feel that difference. So I like that you do have the lighter weight with the Carbon Cell 1. Now another note, or a couple other things with fit I do want to point out. You notice that with the Carbon Cell 1, it's a little bit shorter than the X8. So for riders like me, I'm about five foot seven. I like a shorter knee brace just because it doesn't feel as big or as bulky when I have it on top of the knee. And as far as how slim these are, because that's a very common question for riders that have bigger calves, 
I have over a 16 inch calf circumference. So for me, low profile is important to make sure I can buckle up my boots to get those to overlap. These are actually both pretty dang close to each other. The Carbon Cell One is a little bit thinner than the Mobius, but not by a ton. So if you do have larger calves, I think that's, these would be two of the better options there. There's also the Bionic 10 knee brace from Alpine Stars, the Bionic 7, that's also a pretty low profile option. If that's really important to you, I'd definitely check that one out as well. But they're both pretty low profile as far as that category goes. Now, like I said, the pricing on these, there's about $150, $160 difference. And here's why. With the Mobius, you have that nylon. This is one thing that's kind of cool about the carbon cell is they use a very high-end carbon fiber. In fact, I was talking to these guys from Asterisk and they explained to me that this is the same carbon fiber that they use on the SpaceX jets. So it's really top end and they wanted to have the best possible construction when they were making this brace to keep it lightweight and very rigid. And that's where a lot of the cost is with this knee brace is in the material, that carbon fiber that they're using. Another thing worth pointing out is that with the Carbon Cell One, these are both rigid knee braces. However, the Carbon Cell does not really have any give to it on the upper and the lower cuff. So really, once you put it on, it's just going to kind of be stuck in that position. However, do you want to point this out? That if you get a knee bracer or the Carbon Cell One specifically, and if you feel like the upper and lower cuffs are maybe a little bit too narrow or a little bit too wide, you can send your knee braces to Asterisk and they can actually heat these up and expand it or close it for you depending on your fitment. However, the guys at Asher said that that's very rare that they see riders wanting to do that because the fitment on these, like I said, is really good. All right. Let's talk about protection, because ultimately that's what you're investing in here, is you want the best protection possible for your knees. And like I said, there's a lot of top riders that are wearing both of these. Let's just talk about the knee cup design. So with the Carbon Cell One, you have a three-piece design. And I gotta be honest, it's not my favorite knee cup design of all the knee braces that are out there, just because it's a floating knee cup design. And to me, it just, it just feels a little bit sloppy. It's just kind of moving around. Now, when you put pants on over top of this, you're probably not gonna notice it, but I just noticed, you know, it's just for when you're paying, you know, over 700 bucks for a knee brace, in my opinion, I just feel like they could refine that and maybe make it a little bit better. It's not a deal breaker, but again, it's just not my favorite kneecap design, especially when you compare it to the Mobius. I like how the Mobius kneecap design overlaps. It's very sleek. It's very smooth. So I just like this design a little bit better. You don't have any pieces just kind of floating or flapping around. However, there is one drawback that I have noticed to the Mobius kneecap design that again, it's not a deal breaker, but I would point this out to anybody picking up a Mobius. What I've had happen is that when my knee is bent and then I go to extend my leg out going through a corner, sometimes my pants would actually get pinched in that kneecap and it would prevent me from being able to put my leg completely straight. So what I started to do was just take an extra knee brace sleeve where it over top of the knee brace, that stopped that from happening. So if you have a set of these and you've experienced that, that's an easy fix to prevent that from happening. But again, I just like this kneecap design a little bit better. Let's talk about the hinge system. So on the Mobius, you see with their hinge, again, I had a set of Mobiuses for a couple years. I put a ton of hours on these. The hinges for me held up great. I had no issues there. And it's just a single pivoting location right here. So you can see when you bend that, it just bends at one single pivot point. But something that is dang unique to the Mobius, and this is really what sets them apart, is their continuous cable routing system, or CCRS. So you have this piece here on the back, which is called their tendon back plate. So you have this dial on the front, which is anodized aluminum, this little tab right here on the top. I pull that up. And this allows me to pull that tendon back plate out. And you can see you have this cable that is routing through there. So when you put the knee brace on, all you do is just twist that dial in the front and that will snug that back plate up to the back of your leg. And the purpose for that is Mobius says that by having that tendon back plate there, it helps support the ligaments on the back of the knee and just adds a little bit of extra reinforcement or some more strength to it. So, Pretty unique design. Another thing I do like about this tendon back plate that I noticed when I wore these is that it helps keep the knee brace in place and it doesn't want to slide down your leg once you have it on. So pretty unique to them. As far as the asterisk goes, they use their asymmetry glide hinge. So a little bit different. And I got to point out that asterisk has been in the knee brace game for a very long time. 
In fact, I know that the guys that run Asterisk were actually part of CTI knee braces as well, which a lot of people know are medical knee braces, super high end. So these guys know how to build a good knee brace. And with their hinge, like I said, it's a little bit different. As that pivots, you can see it doesn't just stay in one spot. It actually glides back and forth purpose for that. If you look at the anatomy of the knee, it doesn't just pivot at one single point. It actually does glide back and forth. So they want that brace to mimic the natural movement of your knee to keep the knee brace in the best place possible. As far as extension stops, both of these do have adjustable stops. With the asterisk, you have these little inserts right here and it's written on the side here, the number, so this is a 20 degree. You can actually insert those into the hinge and that will stop the knee brace from locking out before it gets it straight up and down. So that's gonna be rider preference. Some riders are okay with their knee brace going to zero, straight up and down. Some riders, maybe you've had an injury and you don't wanna get all the way there. You can insert those and you can change that to lock it out a little bit sooner. With the Mobius, a little bit different. Mobius, on their kneecap design, you have this center piece right here, which is aluminum. Well, they actually give you three different sets that will come included, and you just unscrew this from the back. It's very simple to do, and then you just put this new insert right here, and that will change. For example, you've got this larger one here. If you put this in there, then that would definitely stop the knee brace from locking out a whole lot sooner. And I will say that I think that these are a little bit easier to use than the shims or the little inserts that come from the asterisk. So last thing we'll talk about is the straps and padding. So you notice pretty big difference here with the straps on the X8. I like how thick their straps are. You notice too that you have these large pads here on the inside. So it's a very comfortable knee brace when I put these on. Like I said, they stay in place well. I like the padding. I like how thick the straps are. They are numbered. So that way you know in what order to put the straps on to get the best fit possible. As far as the asterisk goes, you know, I haven't really had any issues with the straps from the asterisk. However, you notice that they are quite a bit thinner and just the padding, just not quite as big as with the, the Mobius. And one thing I've experienced from time to time is I have gotten some chafing from the straps on the Carbon Cell 1. So I've had to readjust the straps a few times so it's not bothering the back of my leg. With the Mobius, I never really experienced that. I never had to worry about that chafing me. So there is a couple differences that I personally have noticed there. But again, don't just take my word for it. Read rider reviews. You can ask questions on the product pages and you will get answers from other people who, are, who have bought and are using these knee braces. So if you want more great feedback, listen to them. Last feature I do want to point out that is very unique to the Ashes knee braces. This goes for the Carbon Cell 1 and their Ultra Cell 3.0 is their tether. It's down here at the bottom. So what this tether allows you to do, and we have a great video that shows you step-by-step step how to use this. It will come included. You install this strap onto your boot. And once you've installed that onto your boot, you also connect it. You have this, they've already pre-drilled the location, so you connect it to your knee brace as well as your boot, and then you connect the two. And basically what you're doing is you're making your knee brace and your boot all one because there's a lot of knee injuries. In fact, most of your knee injuries are from a twisting movement. So with Ash's theory behind this is that if you say you're riding, you dab your leg or you catch your foot in a rut and your leg wants to twist, well, they want your whole leg to rotate and not just the lower part of the leg. So by connecting the knee brace to your boot, what happens is that as the boot turns, so does the knee brace because if you look at the joints in your knee, your knee is not meant to try and pivot side to side or rotate out or in, but your hip is, your hip can rotate out or in. So by having those forces transferred from the boot through the knee brace up in the leg, that'll help take away some of those forces to the knee if you have a twisting movement. So I definitely recommend using this if you do, when you get a pair of these knee braces, again, watch that how-to video, take advantage of it because it's a pretty unique feature when it comes to the brace. Last thing with the asterisk, I do want to point out just a little extra perk. You are spending more money for these, so it is nice that they do give you some knee brace sleeves to go along with your knee brace. And that's it. That is my side-by-side -side comparison of the Carbon Cell 1 versus the Mobius X8. Like I said, I've ridden in both these. I think they're both great knee braces. You gotta kinda take all the information that we talked about today, some of my feedback, and ultimately kinda help you decide which one you think is gonna be best for you. If I had to pick one of these, if I were like, if you were asking me, Chase, which one did you take, I'd probably go with the Carbon Cell one just because for me, being a shorter rider, I like the height of it, and also, again, it's super lightweight using that carbon fiber, so 
I just like how minimalistic and lightweight this brace feels when I have it on. If you have questions or comments, if you'd like some more of my feedback, I'm more than happy to give that to you, so make sure to leave your comments or questions below. If you have one of these knee braces, please share with us your feedback. What do you like? What do you dislike about the knee brace? That's gonna help other riders out. And if you have another knee brace that you've been wearing, well, hey, let us know what it is, and again, give us that feedback. To grab your next knee brace today, click on the link or head over to rockymonatvmc.com. And if maybe there's other knee braces that you're, you're interested in, we do have a knee brace buyer's guide that you can watch where we take all the premium knee braces and we kind of do a brief overview of those so that can also help you out as well. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails.